Hi everyone, my name is Julie. Thank you so much for watching. Today we're doing our update from our summer soiree project pan. <laughs> this is 11 products that I have picked out that I wanted to use up this summer. Although use up I think is a bit objective. I really just wanted to use them. A lot of these I knew I wasn't going to finish up, but I wanted to make sure that I focus on because a lot of these are summer based products. And I've come to some conclusions about some of them. <laughs> and others I am still working on and enjoying, and then others I'm never gonna finish. So let's get into it, because I do have an empty, yay, <laughs> my second empty. Um, and it is this Jessie's Girl Liquid Eyeliner. Boom, it's done. Um, it is, you might still get some, yeah, see there's still some liquid on it, but it the, brush is completely flattened out. It's shedding. It's it's not working anymore for me. I got to go over multiple times to not have it streak. It's just, it's done. And it's okay that it's done. I'm very happy that it's done. Second empty. <laughs> the first empty was the Aveto Stress Fix Lotion. So boom, excited. We are now down to nine products. The next thing I'm going to do is do a declutter. You guys already know I've decluttered one. I decluttered the Xena Threna liner in that purple shade. Um, I've also decided I'm going to declutter this guy. This is a Living Proof Humidity Shield Finishing Hairspray. I am never going to use this, ever. I keep, I, I put it like right on my counter. Like, be like, Julie, you should apply this. And I never do. And I don't know why, I just never do. It's something that I don't care about. I don't really use hairspray. The only time I've ever used hairspray is to get static out of my skirt. And so I've decided that this one is a no-go for me and it's totally fine and done. Second declutter. That brings two declutters, two empties. I am now falling from 11 to 7. Perfect. Now let me show you my updates. Okay, cool. The first one is this Tarte Blush. This is a huge palette. It's called their Color Wheel. I wanted to use this 30 times. I'm still right on track for that. I'm currently at 19 uses. I don't know if I can see any difference really. Um, what I've got on today is actually this beautiful pink blush here. It's called Deco. I think it's really poppy for summer. I went for a little bit of a lighter eye look and I think you can really tell. I don't know though if you can see that I've really even used <laughs> these blushes. Someone told me that like these holiday palettes by Tarte had less blush in them. It's still, what, 0.084 ounce times 10 still seems like a lot of blush because that's 0.84 ounces. It's smaller than like their standard size blushes, but still seems like a lot for a blush. But um, yeah, I don't know. I'm enjoying it still. There's like a lot of selection in here, which I really appreciate. I've definitely still been using Deco the most, this neutral, and I've started using Culture a little bit more. That is kind of like a dupe for orgasm. It's like that orange pink with the gold glitter in it. That's been working out well. Um, I will tell you this though, I only use this on days I don't go into Ulta. You might be like, Julie, why? Because now in Ulta we have to wear a mask again. <laughs> and so it doesn't make sense to put on cheek product when it's just going to come off on a mask. That's also the reason why I haven't been wearing my Charlotte Tilbury Magic Foundation. I can show you no update even after two months of great updates on this. Um, this. <laughs> I've just stopped wearing foundation. I'll put concealer on today. I have concealer on and I've got a blush on today because I was filming. I've got bronzer on today because I was filming, but I haven't been really using any face products because of the mask. Um, so yeah, that happened. So this has no update on it, but I don't even think I've used it once this month. I have though been using this face product and that is the Too Faced Primed and Peachy Cooling Matte Skin Perfecting Primer. And really, I've been using this just on my forehead or on my chin, just spots where I get glowy. I do actually enjoy the way this feels going on. It does feel cooling going on, and you can see, look how much progress I've made on that. This is just a little guy. It's not a full size, but I've really enjoyed it. Um, I think this will be my next empty. I, I didn't mark it where I was last month, because I don't think there was like a place to mark, but now I mark it like way down here. Um, there is still some product in there. It's one of the pumps, so it's kind of hard to tell like when I'll run out and if like I can get 
that like you know by the edge there but so far so good again I haven't been using the whole face just like on the forehead it does keep me relatively matte which I like too um, so yeah enjoying that and I have been setting my forehead with this powder and I think I'm using this just because this is this project pan <laughs> I don't think particularly I need a powder right now, <laughs> especially with that mattifying primer. Like, I find just the primer does a pretty good job keeping me matte, but sometimes I set it with this powder just so I can say I've used it. Um, let me show you where I am. My goal on this one, this is a baked powder, was just to flatten it. And I think I've done a pretty good job with that. Like, I definitely think I've cut off some of that dome. Don't you guys think? What are you, what are you thinking? Like, I can definitely tell, like, there's a difference. I now have a hole in it. <laughs> Baked powders, I find it was you get a hole in it. Um, I don't know. I wanted to get it flush, and I think I'm getting pretty close to that flush mark right there. I mean, that's not too much still to go, right? We'll see how it works out as I continue to move forward with it. But overall, I do think this is a nice powder. This is the, I don't think I ever said what this is. This is the Lorac Perfection Baked Perfecting Powder. And I, I do find like it doesn't settle into fine lines, it doesn't settle into my wrinkles, it doesn't like hit my pores a whole lot. There's not too much color on this one. I've got the shade light. Um, I do think I probably would go light medium next or maybe even a medium. Because <laughs> this light, um, if you look at it in the pan, it doesn't look like it looks lighter than me, but not like super much. But when it goes on, I do feel like it looks a little bit light. So I don't mind it. I just... I don't know if I really need it. I'm just using it to use it because it's in my collection. Next is this eyebrow pen. This is by Miss Lynn, the liquid eyebrow pencil in the shade 01. Um, I don't have this in my brows today. Um, I'm still going to use this up, but I'm not in love with it. I do find that this takes a little bit more nuance than other brow products. Um, and I think it's actually because it's a pen form when I like drawing little I also don't like the brow whiz for that reason. Like, I'm not into thin, pointed things. I just want to fill it in and go. Like, I have hair. I just need to fill in some blank spots. So, I think my use for brows is a little bit different than other people's use. So, I don't think this is the product for me, but I'm going to continue using it so I can get my money's worth. I probably used it four or five times this month. So, not a whole lot, but I still feel like I used it. I used it enough to realize I still don't like it. <laughs> um, but I'm stubborn enough to be like, well, I, I could use it, so I will. This is Flirty Birdie. Um, it's the e.l.f. And look, can you see? I actually have a line that I can mark it with, and I'll mark it here in just a second. Uh, yeah, I actually have a line now. Oh, I'm so excited. Let me mark it so you can see it a little bit better. Boom. That's where I'm at. Oh, my God. What? Oh, my God. <laughs> That's good use, I think. I use this three times this month. Again, I'm just once a week trying to get some glitter in my life, putting some glitter on my eyes. This has been amazing for that. Great color. Um, I can't speak more highly of these e.l.f. liquid glitters. They are so fantastic. Again, this is the shade Flirty Birdie. Amazing. It's, oh, I love it. I'm, it's like one of these $5 too. I'm totally going to buy these again. Obsessed. The last one is this Kaylin Just Mineral Eye Polish in the shade 05 Orchid. I did not use this one. Whoops, I didn't use it. Um, my big thing with this one is the packaging is just a little hard to use. Like it has a sponge tip applicator and you kind of have to roll, roll like the pigment onto your eye and have to keep like dipping in and pulling out and rolling it. Then it doesn't like blend right and it looks kind of patchy. Um, I'm not in love with this. I am thinking about decluttering it but I don't know yet. If you guys have got this, did you like use another brush with it? Like maybe that would work. I've just been like too lazy to find a brush that can kind of fit through this hole. It's kind of a narrow hole in there. But um, I don't know, what do you guys think? I feel like if this was like in a loose jar or something, it'd be just a little bit easier for me to use because then I can get my own brush in there. But I just, I have, I just like, there's like an extra step they just don't like with this one. <laughs> It's just like a little too much effort for me. All right, just a little bit too much effort. And that is the, my remaining products. Those are my remaining seven. I think I'm going to have at least another empty here, if not two. Um, definitely one. <laughs> we'll hope for the second one. I only have one more month left to go, one more month left of summer. I'm ending this in September. 
So that's where we're at. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Happy panning, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.